Automate extraction of sales orders from SAP with YPath will be today's tutorial. And before creating the YPath project and developing the bot, I will always say this on SAP automation tutorials, and hopefully I will always say, unless I forget, it might happen. In order to be able to run automation scripts on SAP GUI, we need to enable the server side and client side scripting. So if you don't have them enabled, Make sure you watch the tutorial that will appear here on the top where I show very quickly how to enable so the server side and client side scripting on SAP. So now with that in mind, let's create a first the YPath project. So I'll create a project with the name SAP underscore sales orders extraction. And let's create the project. And so before doing any kind of development, let's just think on the steps that we need to do in order to automate the extraction of sales orders. So first, we'll need to start SAP logon to then log in into SAP. Then uh, to see the list of sales orders on the SAP system, we'll need to execute the transaction VA05. And here we might apply some filters uh, to filter the sales orders and then we'll need to execute um, here to see the list of sales orders and export them to an Excel file. So now that we see very briefly the steps, so let's start the actual development. So first to start SAP logon, let's use the activity SAP logon. And so here automatically uh, the activity has found the SAP logon full path, the path to the executable that allows to start the SAP logon. And so then we need to provide the connection name. So connection name that we can find here on SAP logon, we can see here the list of connections and here we can see the name of the connection. So in my case, it's SAP. So uh, I'll just store it on a variable. So here on variables, define the value to SAP on my case. And so uh, with that, SAP logon will be started. So let's just test. So I'll just close SAP. And now let's run uh, the project and we will see that SAP logon started. And then we can see that was open the SAP login window. So now that we are at the login screen, we will use the activity that will allow us to very easily uh, perform the login on SAP, which is the activity SAP login. So let's drag it after the SAP logon. And first of all, let's indicate the screen, uh, the login screen. And now uh, we have to provide the client. So in my case, it's 800. So I'll just store on the variable str SAP client. And so here 800. And ideally we'll store these on asset and just use the value from the asset, but let's keep it simple. So here username. So I will declare the variable str SAP username. And so let's here insert our username, my username it's my name basically then the password so i'll choose here standard to keep it simple and i'll just use the get password activity that basically allows us here to write uh, the password and mask it. so uh, here i will input my password and result so i'll declare here the variable str sap password and pass here the variable and language. So in my case will be English. So declare variable SAP language and here define the language. And that's basically it. So I'll just close SAP again and let's see how it's working. If the login is done successfully, so here we can see it's been done login and here we are on the 
home page, let's say, of SAP after being done login, so it worked properly. So now that we are doing the login on SAP, it's automated, uh, the login step, we need to execute the transaction BA05 to go to the list, to see the list of sales orders. So to execute a transaction, uh, we have activity uh, that makes that really easy. So we don't have to use uh, typing to indicate the field here and insert the text. So it's more simple to use the dedicated white path activity, which is the execute start transaction. Or no, uh, execute transaction, I think. I forgot the name, it's transaction something. Call transaction, yeah, it's that. So I just forgot for a few seconds the name of the activity. And here he is, so let's just drag the activity, call transaction, and indicate so the screen, so just indicate. And now here transaction call, so here is, I'll require the variable str uh, display sales orders transaction. And so here variable, so Let's start here on this new variable, BA05, which is the transaction code to access to the list of sales orders. And now just to don't run again the login, I'll just comment here uh, this step. So just run the call transaction to test and see if it's working properly. So uh, let's see how it's working. So I will run the project. And here we can see that was executed the transaction and now we are here on the list of sales orders so here we can apply filters and then execute uh, the search with the filters applied and will appear then the list of sales orders that matches the filter are you ready to master sap automation with platforms like ypath power automate automation anywhere blue prism and even python in my upcoming courses you'll get hands-on experience and real SAP access so you can practice everything you learn. Free access to SAP is impossible to get as far as I'm aware, but I'll got you covered on my courses. And I'm about to launch these SAP automation courses anytime soon. Subscribe via the link below in the description or in the comments to stay tuned and be the first to know when these courses go live. So, just to get a bit of hands on here, let's apply some filters, for example, the sales organization. So here first, let's just see the list of organizations that we have. So I'll use this one, 0001. So here we'll use a type int activity. So here we'll use a type int and now indicate uh, the field to populate the text, the sales organization, which is this one. And here, sales organizations, just be more clear. And here, the text. So here, I will call the very str sales organization field, filter. And so here will be 0001. And then let's here also set the bot to select here open sales orders to filter by open sales orders. So for that, we can just use a simple click. So here, let's use a click activity. As it says here, it needs to be inside of a use application browser. So now let's use a use application browser activity. And let's indicate this screen. And now uh, inside of it, let's drag the click. And now let's indicate here the field to click. So the open sales orders. And let's confirm. And let's see if it's working. So uh, I will go back again to the home screen, the initial screen. And let's see if it's working properly. Here are these filters. So let's run the project. And as we can see, it was uh, defined the filter successfully. So now the next step is to click here on execute. 
rgest execute f8 so we have both options here so i will here just set up the click we can also use the keyboard shortcut activity to execute the f8 and now let's just drag it inside of the use application browser to know the target application and record the shortcut so let's press now on f8 and it should work so i'll just here execute the search for example and let's see if it works so i'll go back again and execute again the project you can see here we can see the list of sales orders that matches the filters applied and now to export the sales orders i was about to use this export to excel option but currently it's not working so i'll use another one which is to a local file so here we can choose unconverted text with tabs bridge text format html or in the clipboard so let's choose unconverted so first we need to click here on local file or execute the shortcut Control shift f9 so here uh, let's just execute the keyboard shortcut or the click so both will work so record shortcut so Control shift f9 and so here export seo so then after executing the shortcut will appear this pop-up so here let's make sure we select the first option so let's use a click choose unconverted and then uh, we have to click here on this button so we can execute just the enter or click on the button so now let's just use the click confirm and now uh, let's simulate so let's click here to see what will appear next so here we can see that it asks the directory where we want to save the file and the file name so here the directory we can use this one so let's use now a type into fill the path so to make sure the path uh, the file location will be always defined so here i'll declare the very str sales orders folder path and so here take the path and then uh, let's uh, define the file name with another type into so now let's indicate here file name let's confirm and so here uh, let's create another variable str sales orders file name for example and on variables so here let's use a dynamic name so for example date time dot now dot to string so the file name will be uh, the current date on this format sales orders and then up oh, here my mistake so then uh, we will have orders dot txt and that's basically it so then we just need to click on generate so we can use the click or the keyboard shortcut so i'll just use the click click on generate and copy now of course this could be better organized but the goal we really here is just to show how to extract how to admit extraction of sales orders from sap with ipad so uh, I want to keep it the more straightforward possible and simple. 
So with that, let's see how it's working. So I'll uncomment here the login. So let's execute the project from the beginning until the end. So let's just close here SAP and let's execute. So let's execute the project and see how it's working. So login was done. Now we'll be applied at the filters. Now we'll be extracted the sales orders. So we'll be generated the file. And so the file was generated. So here we can see that everything was executed successfully. And here we can see the success message. So now if we go to the path that we have indicated, here we can see uh, the file that was generated that basically shows the data in a tabular format. So it has worked well. So we are able to automate the extraction of sales orders from SAP with YPath. And that's it for today's tutorial. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up and now subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so you don't miss any tutorial released here on the channel.